If you want to be a top 1% modern warrior in the fast changing world, a mental athlete at day and a physical athlete at night, here is what you should do. If we look at most fitness methods and training styles, it's always about here is the best routine, here's the best scientific way of training. Today I want to give you a totally mind-changing training style which have totally changed my life. So what is it? Well, this is pretty, pretty uh, interesting. So instead of just pushing hard towards your goals, have you ever realized that when you don't push too hard, all of a sudden everything starts to change? The same happened for me. So when I was a young finance kid, I always trained really hard, lifted a lot of weights and always wanted to push to the next goal. But then I started looking into these amazing people like uh, Steve Jobs, who was uh, sort of leaning in to the Eastern style of uh, Buddhism and then just, you know, minimalistic tools and then really leaning in on the creative side. So the fitness routine I want to give you today has been a total game changer for me. I've become a national champion. I'm 36 now and I do skateboarding, I do martial arts and I still live a busy life. You don't have to put in a lot of time at the gym. You can become multidisciplinary. In fact, we used to be in the industrial revolution like insects, very focused and specialized. But these days the information is just in front of your eyes. The issue is then that you become overloaded, you don't know what to focus on, and it's actually the abundance of focus that is the issue. So of course you would say that, all right, so aren't you contradicting yourself because you're saying that you can become top 1% in athletics as well as in your career. How is that in any way like being focused? Well, it's the 80-20 way where you focus in each domain on the 20% that give you 80% of the results. And this way you will actually get ahead of 99% of people. And it's not like you're really focusing on that, you know, I need to get this KPI and I must uh, get the cer certain uh, pay in my career or that you must hit a personal record on your bench. What I'm saying is very simple. Three steps that will be a total game changer. Number one is instead of just picking one domain, going to the gym, going to CrossFit, going golfing, uh, training martial arts, jiu-jitsu, whatever. Think about like when you were a kid, you didn't go to the playground and say that I'm going to do this certain, you know, uh, jump up to the bars and then I'm going to go into this very specific game. No, no, no. You were running around, fooling around, having fun. You can put those specific uh, goals that you have, but at the same time, you can lean into that creativity, bouncing around, doing warm-ups in martial arts or then hitting the bench, going for some pull-ups, whatever. Then you can transfer completely into some other sports. So for instance, what I've been doing is, is that I always have a simple frame for my training and that is strength training with calisthenics, basically just using my own body weight as resistance. No matter where I'm in life, I always know that twice per week strength training is enough to build a foundation. If I would do that for the next 10 years, I would still be ahead of 99% of people because most people think that you should start with the best time, you should have the best routine, whatever. No, you have to have that discipline of showing up. It is the consistency that will set you apart. If you are consistent, you will become next level. And like I've also built the 8020 blueprint, the free course as well that you can find below. And that will take you step by step into the style that will transform your life. Because when you have enough push strength, core strength, pulling strength, hip strength, especially like core and hip and back, that will really set you apart, not only at the gym, but especially if you want to be multidisciplinary, doing jiu-jitsu, doing martial arts or skateboarding, at a really high level. Like this routine has taken me ahead of most people in skateboarding. I also competed in jiu-jitsu. I'm a multiple time record holder, national champion muscle ups. And this is not to brag because you can do it the same. I'm just an average guy who have 
become more focused in my 30s while having a long frame of 16 years in fitness. And I'm telling you, if you do this, you will be able to do things that are super cool because it's not just about the goal setting. If you just want the goals, then you're going to forget about all the fun stuff, doing it for the sake of simplicity, of enjoyment. Just like a dog, when you throw the bone for a dog or whatever, or the ball, it's not going to be with its KPIs like, oh, I need to catch 10 balls today, so I'm becoming much faster. No, no, no. It is about enjoyment, right? Now, that being said, of course, it's like if you're stressed in your life, it's not going to be easy just then you're going to change everything. One key changer for me has been breath work. And breath work is also in the course below. And we want to focus on two things here. On the breath work side, it is about managing your sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. You should be able to have your mood, not go to the extreme, very excited, and then go in here and, and you know, be almost you know, depressed. Now you want to be able to be very smooth in between. So the simple routine for breath work is to be able to, in the morning, do like Navy SEALs do this 4444, and this is actually getting you into the focused mode. And you do for four laps, four seconds of breathing in, holding the breath, and then exhaling for four seconds. Then at night, you can do four seconds of inhale and seven seconds of holding it and eight seconds of exhale. So basically the first one is box breathing, which activates your nervous system. You're becoming more focused you're getting a little bit that cortisol, which is actually healthy in small doses. The issue is today that we get bombarded all the time, so we can't really balance this. So in the morning you do the breath work, but if you stay up here all day, you will become fatigued. And that's why at night you then do the, the 4, 7, 8, and especially the exhale on 8 will get you down here. And that way you can fall asleep. And that's actually the whole package. You do this, you will get ahead of 99% of people like it's it's been a, such an amazing journey for me to build up my lifestyle not just being a revolved around fitness but not just being a revolved around finance or my entrepreneur gaming company which you can find here if you want to see how I built a matrix like game for virtual reality or you can check my journey on the muscle up world record which I'm working on see you in the next one